seems to be something on. Nice big take on the squid there. Whoa. Oh, the take is running. Hello guys and welcome to another video. Uh, today we're in Wattick in Pembrokeshire. Lovely evening to be honest, it's, the sea's quite uh, flat. We are on a little indent of land as well which does make it a little bit better. We've got deep water here, um, Navionic says it's probably uh, about, about 10 to um, 15 metres. Uh, we've got the beach just over to our left, Wattick Beach, which is uh, a, a perfect little beach for um, bass fishing, which is particularly full of holiday makers. Um, in the summer. Around the corner then we just got this little old mark which is absolutely fantastic for fishing. High water's there tonight so there's no problem casting the leads out and getting um, caught up or anything. Ideally tonight what we're going to do is we're going to fish for cod. You don't get too many down in Pembroke, you usually get the smaller codling. Um, I can see boats out in the water at the moment which are um, fishing for cod. They're often the ones to catch the cod more often than not because they, have, they are in that deeper water. Here it's a bit more shallow but um, you know, some people say you can catch them in shallow, some people say you can catch them in deep. But one thing I would say is they are mostly caught at night or in really deep water, so it's dark in the bottom of the water column. I will talk you through my rod and reel setup. What I'll do is I'll get the GoPro on and I'll start baiting up, uh, fishing at the same time, just so you guys can see it from a different angle. But I hope you enjoy the video. Uh, if you have any tips, any questions, feel free to drop them in the comment section. I'd be really grateful if any of you could uh, like, comment, subscribe. Uh, and all those things into the video. What I'm going to do here is bait up this squid. What I'm going to do is run. So I've got a, pull, I've got a pulley panel. I'm going to run this hook all the way through. So out the other side. It's frozen at the moment, so it's not the easiest. So out the other side. So you can see it's come through. Then I'm going to flip it upside down, go through, and if I can, I'll bring it back, just like that. Turn it over, I'm going to bait elastic the eye of that hook. I'm watching that line there. Just bring that up over the line as well. Really give it a good lashing. Keep it all together. Round it a few times and around again. And off. There you go. Then what you want to do. Slide that down. You can go one wrap, two wraps, and just simply in one side. If I can get it. Out the other. Perfect. Then there you go. You see, you've got two hooks. Oh, the, the top one could be a little bit more proud. That one will do the job. Use this five ounce grip. You want, you want the splash guard at the top, um, just so you can pin your bait down. My hands are cold tonight, already cold, which isn't good. I'll do. So before I've even had time to uh, get that uh, second rod out, we seem to have a bite. There you go.
seems to be something on. Most likely just a small dogfish. Yeah. Just a small dog as I expected. Oh, and he's off. Yeah, probably a good thing to be honest. I didn't. I knew the dog would be out tonight, but uh, I hope they wouldn't be out within about 30 seconds of putting the um, bait out. There you go, there's Nox. So. I think there's something on. Something on it. It's not rattling too much to me to make me think it's a dogfish. Ah, oh, so another there's another dogfish. And he's actually off again. That's the second dogfish that's just sipped off tonight. Straight in, but uh, we keep going. So, um, it's just got dark now, it's, it's probably 45 minutes now after sunset. I've been re re struggling with this reel at the moment. Um, to be honest, one thing I'd say is if when you go, always bloody uh, rinse down your reels with fresh water. And then get some WD-40 on them. 40 on them. Don't be like me, and uh, forget to, and then wonder why your reel arm doesn't turn. That's not ideal. Um, not sure if you can see, but I've got one rod over that direction, and I'm gonna get this rod over this direction now, uh, just to cover uh, some more ground off. second rod out um, just so you can see there our usual mark two rods um, both 12 foot don't need any long from here, for here um, to be honest and the other, the other thing is I haven't got one fishing two seven th uh, one seven thousand reel which is the uh, red one which is cheaper reel uh, more expensive reel, which is a pen wraith, just sort of mid-range. That's an 8,000 reel. Uh, the only difference is the 8,000 will hold, hold more line. Going up then on the left rod, I'm fishing shallower water. And I've got a 20 pound line with a uh, 60 pound shock leader. On the right rod, I've got a 45 pound line and a, I believe, a 100 pound uh, shock leader. The reason I got that shock leader is um, in this mark you do have the, th the uh, occasional big conger so um, I put that £100 line on just in case I do catch one. Uh, they might bite through the line. It's high probability they still would, you know. Some people say you need £200 line um, for, the, for the conger because uh, it brushes across their teeth and sort of cuts it like cotton then. But um, that's just a risk I'm willing to take. Both got uh, two 5 ounce leads out, don't need any more than that. Um, they're just gripping. No need for rotten bottoms or anything. This mark, uh, that's fish. This is um, clean ground, so it, it, it's, it's fine to fish. Uh, just standard grips over. Both rods have got two uh, poly panels with size four o hooks on each. Um, hopefully the cards um, will bite one of them, but I think for the cards you probably need a size uh, four o five o. Uh, anything smaller uh, may just slip out of their mouths small bite on one of the rods there as you can probably see uh, on that orange one there you go that's just biting now there you go let's get that in
don't think we've got anything on here. No, we haven't. Missed the bite. Oh well, let's, let's bring this one in, fresh bait up, and uh, get ready to go again. So we're in the middle of baiting this up at the moment. I'll be it quite badly. And that bell is creaking. It's, 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 it's going. I'm going to keep an eye on it in a second. Likely, as you expected, another bloody dogfish. Either something on, on that at the moment or um, just some stuff nibbling at it, perhaps crabs at the bottom. There you go, poles again. Nice big take on the uh, squids there. Whoa. See the deep or big. Come on. Probably a dogfish. Ooh, let's take it running. It's coming up. There we go. Come on. It's deep, still bloody deep. There you go. Some weight on it. Wow. Full hus. So there we go, quite a big one, let's get him hooked, unhooked, sorry. <laughs> there we go, he's heavy, I unfortunately haven't got scales. Um, Nice bull hus. Lovely fish. Okay, he's been out for a little longer than I wanted. He's been dark. So, just to wrap up the video, um, what did we have in the end? I think we had, oh God, over double figure dogfish. I um, I won't put in all the ones that I've caught this session just because I think you get bored of seeing dogfish. Um, we've had and that that bull hus. It really has just been great spot and less spot of dogfish tonight. In terms of the rigs, um, what I've been using tonight is just a um, standard pulley panel. Um, I've actually had them made up for me tonight. It's just I haven't had time. Um, what would I say? Hook size has been two four o hooks on the pulley panel. The leader has been the fit variant. I think I spoke about this earlier in the video. But I've had two rods go in. Um, funnily enough, the bull husk actually took the um, smaller braking strain line, and 
it was a fight and I was worried the line was going to snap, but it, it, it seemed to be generally okay. No issues and I did have to hand line him up. He was hooked in very well, um, which makes life easier. But other than that, really good session. We've had, we've been busy. A couple of rigs ruined, something big we had on earlier. Um, bit the hook, that's what I'm guessing, conga. But generally successful session. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, if you want to know about the mark, feel free to drop me a message. I'll show you how to get here. Really popular spot in the summer. Um, great in the winter because not many people are here. It's a hard walk down. I think I've shown you in the video. But overall, really successful, really good session. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, please like, comment, subscribe, turn on that bell thing, whatever you call it. And thanks for watching.